Coach, uh, eighth place finish here today. Just kind of tell me your thoughts on the dual tournament today. Uh, some tough duels out there. You start out with Don Bosco. That's that's kind of a grind there. But uh, I thought the kids battled. We just gave up too many bonus points today. You know, we, we expect to kind of stay off our back and fight through those positions. And we, we kind of pride ourselves on being a tough team, a team that's going to wear you out, that's going to grind on you. And when we get pinned in the first period or second period, you can't do those things. So that was a big difference today. We just we let those you know, really good wrestlers kind of put us on our back and take us out of our element. We gotta, we gotta work through that. In your seventh place match, you guys got a familiar foe in Logan Magnolia. What's that say about the the talent in Harrison County that you two end up meeting for a trophy? Well, that's pretty cool. You know, you got a team that's eight miles away from you. Um, We'd like to go out there and, and get that. We had a few guys we got wrestling tomorrow. We want to make sure that we're, we're ready to roll for that. But that's that's neat. Harrison County got some tough teams. I love that it's kind of turned into a little bit of a rivalry. You know, for a lot of years there it was them kind of hammering us, and, and now it's it's at least back and forth, and, and that's fun. That's fun for the community fans and, and for us too. We want to be showing that we're, we're as good as everybody in the state, so that's good. You guys made your first state duel two years ago. You've been every year since now making it three in a row. Has uh, appearing at state duels just kind of been now a, a norm or an expectation for Missouri Valley? Well, those are the plan. I mean, the, the juniors and seniors on this team are kind of accustomed to it, and you try to hope that it ingrains in those younger guys a little bit. And so, yeah, I, you know, it has been an expectation. It's an expectation that we're wrestling in the postseason at regional duels, and it's an expectation that we're competing for spots like this. This is, this is fun. This is neat. And... We want to show that we're a top team in the state every year, not just a, a flash in the pan team. Individual tournament starts tomorrow. You have four representatives. Uh, what do you want to see from those guys, and what's the expectation? Expectations to bring home medals. I think all four of these guys are studs. All four of them have worked hard. All four of them are having fun. Um, I think all four of them could be in the finals. But it's a grind. It's a tough tournament. we got to go out and be ready for each match. But uh, the expectations are high for those four. Rex, you guys finished seventh as a team at State Duels today, a freshman year for you, and you, you put on a good show at State Duels. Just kind of tell me, uh, what was that like? Uh, it was a good experience. I had a lot of fun competing with the team, and seventh place pretty good. We would have liked to have done better, but hey, it's all right. We still made it and had a lot of fun here. Does it make you kind of hungrier to get back here, not only down the road in the dual teams, but as individuals as well? Uh, yeah, it was a big disappointment I didn't make it. I didn't wrestle my best at districts, but I'm coming back next year hungrier than ever. Tell me about your day. You had three wins, two by fall. Uh, just what was working for you today? Um, you know, my first match, pretty tough kid. He was hard to pin. Just my technique worked really good on him. And then my second match, I hit a good lat drop on the kid and put a half in on him and pinned him. And then my last match, just got an underhook single leg and put a half on him and pinned. So underhooks and... Half Nelson's really worked for me today. You guys are a pretty young team. You as a freshman, Hagen as a freshman, Briar as a sophomore. Is next year's the goal going to be not only to get back, but to finish better than seven? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a blast watching the, uh, all these guys wrestle. And I think the fans are really excited to see what these freshmen got. I think a lot of people underestimated us, and we really showed up what showed showed them what we got. Coach, Logan Magnolia finishes seventh at state duels today. Uh, just kind of tell me about your overall thoughts on the day and what you liked from your team. I thought we wrestled really hard. Um, you know, the first one we, we were a little out manned. Uh, second duel was just a great duel, and two or three things didn't go our way. A couple really close matches, and, you know, I'd like to, we'd like to win that one. But uh, nice to finish up with a win. Thought we, thought we fought all day long, and that's what we are asking, so. An interesting seventh place match. You guys got Missouri Valley, a familiar foe you had seen twice this year. You guys are separated by just eight miles. What's that say about the wrestling in Harrison County that you two were, were both battling it out for a, a dual trophy? Yeah, I, I, I think our area is really tough. I mean, we had five WIC teams in, in the regional duels, and you know, um, I think we both have been like to wrestle for a higher spot, but is what it is. But our, you know, I think our area is going to be really well represented down here. It was today, and it will be the rest of the week. So. Anything in particular you really saw that you liked from you guys throughout the day? Um, you kept our head up, kept fighting. You know, we, a couple kids that lost tough matches in that second duel that came back and got falls for us in the last one. And yeah, I'm proud of them. Our, our five seniors uh, have done a lot for us in, in, in getting us here, and, and we got a lot of young kids that hopefully take this and grow and continue to get better. Yeah, you mentioned the, the young talent you guys have with Hagen Easton, Briar Rice, Rex Johnson, just to name a few. Is the expectation going to be not just to get back here next year, but maybe finish a little higher? Yeah, we, we had a conversation on the mat there about the things that are going to have to change if the place on the trophy is going to change. And you know, a lot of that's going to be up to them. If, if they want to get together and make, make those changes, then you know I, th I think they can get it as high as they want. So uh, that's a challenge.